press it while uh, drafting your lines etc at the beginning of the paragraph one tab means one indent okay okay that space okay one space okay. so that is called indent and if you do not wish to put indent then you can go even without that okay okay sir thank you uh, one more question actually you have uh, suggested uh, mla handbook apa style so i have i have mla handbook uh, if uh, should i refer other book as well for uh, see if manager. you are comfortable with uh, whatever style manual hmm. you have you can go for that but for the sake of that you will have to seek permission of your supervisor for example okay. you wish to go for a chinese manual huh and uh, your thesis comes to me i okay. don't prefer chinese manual mla handbook or apa then i would uh, send your thesis back okay and i would say i am not comfortable with this style manual so the candidate should adopt either mla or apa so better we choose what is most convenient and uh, generally known to or generally preferred by the research supervisors and universities okay ha uh, you go for that okay sir thank you so much welcome Sir, there is a question in chat box. Ah, yes, Miss Anjali Wagmare has asked a question. Yes. How we write first chapter in a simple or easy manner? Well, madam, if we make it simple and easy, it is always good for us. What we have to do is work according to the topic. What topic we have? For example, uh, introduction is a chapter which is generally. Uh, expected to be drafted at the end but generally we begin with it so uh, we have to keep on collecting the data uh, as soon as we collect the data we have to for example suppose there is a title called i'm sorry a stylistic analysis of uh, maybe king lear a stylistic analysis of king lear in uh, this thesis on king lear or on this topic what i would do is first of all i would go for british literature briefly then i would go for shakespeare and after that i would go for style what is style and what is stylistic analysis and then i shall mention my rationale my objectives my methodology my hypothesis etc etc so these are the steps that we can adopt to make the first chapter convenient for us simple and uh, what you have said uh, easy okay is it okay madam okay this is what uh, i have uh, like uh, a response to her question second is why it's terrific to start the starting most students stuck at the point at how to start yes uh, this happens to almost every researcher because uh, writing uh, reading is one thing writing the other and when we actually start writing it definitely tests our academic character or a character as a writer and at that time we as the author have to uh, first of all do a lot of homework rough work as to what could be like what for example as i recently said to you what could be the line of my presentation what should be uh, say the sequence of my uh, points first of all we should decide this and then we can move for example stylistic a uh, stylistic analysis of uh, king lear then i have to think that uh, yes shakespeare is the maker of british literature one of the makers of british literature and then i have to think about british literature how i can give a synoptic view of that 
secondly i can uh, think of uh, say shakespeare as to how shakespeare could be master of uh, say british literature master of english language etc and then uh, art of drama etc and then accordingly i can start drafting my pages it could be a rough draft and then i can change this draft time and again as soon as i feel that uh, this is not appropriate i should make certain changes to that and every time i have the freedom of getting it changed so this way we can develop the steps of drafting of our thesis a thesis cannot be drafted at a single city it is a long process and many times we have to go through the changes and that is how we can start writing so this is another response to uh, ms wagmar's uh, second question okay are there other questions so how can we get connected to you would like to listen to you more okay uh, since we have been here uh, we would be regularly meeting on this platform or else uh, you can have my contact number from the person that has added you to this group and uh, you can talk to sir what ah, yes. ah yes uh yesterday while i was reading uh I found uh, a quotation that I liked it. I wanted to take it. But when I wanted to cite there is no date when it was uploaded into the uh, the net, oh. the internet. Mm-hmm. There is no date. No date on the paper. and also on, there is no date on the the page that is available on the internet mm-hmm. so how should i find that ah uh, that is uh, so simple as a cake walk because on the internet the source that you have accessed you have to mention sorry you have to mention the date you have accessed that source for example you access that article or paper today you copy the link of that article which has been there in the address uh, what uh, i don't know search address okay yeah. so you can copy it and then you can uh, put it in your work cited list and at the end you can write accessed on and you can write the date of maybe today the day before yesterday yesterday whatever date okay so that means that article when it was available on the internet is never never an issue when you accessed it is more important okay the the, the day in which you caught yes moment. yes thank you thank you very much ah uh, here's another question as well i joined late uh, you might have elaborated this point but uh, can you brief us about uh, framework of research well amol uh, uh, framework of research i have already discussed uh, in these uh, slides for example what is the framework you have a chapter scheme you have a methodology uh, you have uh, uh, you know certain other aspects like mechanics of writing etc so this is itself uh, the framework of uh, research that we usually adopt okay i think Hello, now ha ah, yes ha ah, sir ha ah, yes sir rakhle parmeshwar ha ha sir my research topic is reintroducing caste class and gender ah. construction colon ah. ambedkar perspective in the selected novels of arundhati rai Uh, Arvind Adiga uh, and Meena Kandu Swami. Uh, so my question is related to a review of literature. Is uh, it necessary to write a review of literature, or just write a chapter related to Ambedkar's perspective? Uh, well, uh, 
as I already said, review of literature does not carry much significance. So better we avoid it. And if we have gone through the sources that are useful for our research work, then we can mention them in the form of analysis. For example, we can derive quotes from those texts. Okay. And we can mention them. So rather than putting a special chapter upon review of literature, we can go by this standard. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Welcome. I think there is no more questions. <laughs> okay. So whose turn is it to take over? Uh, uh, sir. There are so many compliments. I am so much grateful to you all for having uh, written so me, many sir. nice words about uh, my presentation. Thank you very much. Yes, Santosh? Actually, I was typing a question. Huh. Uh, <clears throat> uh, while talking about objectivity, one must even add here to the objectivity in research. Huh. Uh, and there is no there must be no place for bias. Ah, yes. uh, but uh, what would be the ways to restrict oneself from huh. being biased or oh. uh, being subjective? Yes. Uh, when the topic is about uh, race, caste, mm. Mm. Or religion, culture, mm. Mm. or uh, sex, uh -huh. so there is a possibility mm. one can be turned subjective. Oh, yes. yes. How to restrict oneself from being so? Ah, yes, that is actually the test of uh, our writing, our presentation. Ah. See, okay. uh, I'll, I'll just uh, give you another example. For example, uh, a teacher says, now I shall not complete this curriculum today. And there's a student who instantly says, why, sir? Hmm. Okay, why, sir? Now, this does not uh, suit the formal atmosphere or say etiquette of communication mm -hmm. then instead what should that uh, student say or maybe you know a speaker has spoken and uh, one of uh, the members from the audience has the similar kind of reaction okay yes. so there is a way to deal with this instead of saying why sir uh, excuse me sir i beg your pardon but may i know the reason please so this is one situation yes. which which bears slight resemblance to your question, okay? Not yes. complete. For example, uh, we are writing something about, uh, say, the area of women. And we have read, uh, say, positive and negative things about women. Yes. Then we should think of both the things. This is the negative side, this is the positive side. But then, why is there the negative side of, uh, say, the women presented in a text? Then we can find the answer. Maybe it was because of patriarchy. Maybe because of uh, patriarchal attitude and bias. And then, we can have our own, uh, say, induction there, or deduction. We can deduce it we can come to inference thinking law and then finally we can put it yes these are the drawbacks or shortcomings that are spoken of about women and these are also the things that justify the cause of women then which i'm sorry which weighs more for you is important mm -hmm. If you look at it objectively, then you would definitely find that, yes, there has to be a balance. And then you completely forget yourself. You know, uh, T.S. Eliot has put in the theory of depersonalization. He wants us to be impersonal. Defamiliarization, this is what he says. Defamiliarize yourself from what you are reading. Unless you defamiliarize, Unless you detach yourself from uh, this kind of reading, okay, you cannot uh, be objective. So it is important that you defamiliarize yourself. 
and ultimately the use of proper functions would lead you into a proper direction okay okay sir thank you thank, thank you so you. much over to al rashid hello sir ha ah, yes ha ah, mr sir ha ah, yes sir uh, as i have already published article on ecofeminism and uh, in uh, my thesis also i am going to explore this theory uh, so uh, i have in the article itself there are so many new things that i have uh, included so as far as literature is concerned hmm. so how much can i how much can i take from that into my thesis and if i take something from that will it be considered as a plagiarized material or uh, uh i'm sorry i i didn't get you completely you are writing something about feminism right eco feminism sir eco feminism okay 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 huh. now what is your See, point my my uh, my point is that i have already published an article huh. on eco feminism mm -hmm. and uh, in my thesis also i am going to explore the theory of ah. eco feminism mm -hmm. in respect to eco criticism yes yes got it so if i take something from my article into thesis mm -hmm. will it be considered as plagiarism material see uh, today there is a concept of self plagiarism Yes, sir. Self plagiarism is uh, something like this. I'm going to explain. You yes. want to derive a quote from your, or maybe analysis from your own paper. You will have to mention yes, it with your name, okay? But before doing that, the most important thing for you is you should seek permission from your supervisor. okay sir. if your supervisor says okay you can use this and mention uh, this and that then it is not self plagiarism if the permission is not okay. there then it is plagiarism still self plagiarism and another thing okay. is if you are reintroducing your argument then you can refer to your article uh, systematically that is the way of doing it okay it means i have it means i'll have to mention the name of that article into in, in both cited uh, uh yes of yeah. course okay so okay thank you uh, yes sir good evening ha ah, good evening who is that gautam ha ah, yes sir there is a question related mm -hmm. with uh, redundancy how could we avoid redundancy yes uh, well uh, there are some people who are habituated to the use of uh, using two superlatives at the same time or uh, using wrong words for example some people say it is more better if better is more better already why do you use more than okay second thing <clears throat> i'm sorry there are some people who write it would be the uh, most cleverest thing okay so why do you use most with the superlative there because most becomes redundant there how can we avoid it this is your question right mm -hmm. to avoid it you can go back to a good dictionary and you can find guidelines on this whether you should uh, prefer most or whether you should uh, prefer the superlative form or if there is not superlative form what is there etc in this uh, case a, a good dictionary can help you a lot mm -hmm. yes or else you can also consult an expert okay yes sir thank you well I think uh, ah yes so as you know sir i think i ha huh, it is almost 2 uh, hours and 25 minutes so i have a uh, again a uh, very 
small question we can say so okay. in a one or two minute i, huh. I think i am not uh, i don't want to take more time go ahead i am ready to stay here for you okay thank you sir thank you mm-hmm. uh Uh, i i don't uh, when you were explaining uh, and uh, chapter number 1 you were uh, uh, discussing so whatever the uh, points are there in synopsis most mm-hmm. of the points are there in chapter number 1 so uh, what is the difference uh, between synopsis and chapter number 1 of the phd thesis Uh, which synopsis are you talking about? The one that you submitted at the time of registration, or the one that you wish to attach uh, to your thesis? Uh, at the time of submission, that synopsis. Submission about registration. Registration, yes. Sir. See, uh, registration has been the crude material, okay. whereas a thesis happens to be a highly refined material. Okay. And if you take the same old things into your thesis, what is the use of, uh, say, uh, your research progress? So you should forget the synopsis completely. I would okay. suggest. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Again, anything else? any other questions okay before uh, i hand it over to sir the compa uh, jamal do you have any questions no thank you sir oh, i would like to express my sincere thanks to uh, the whole of the group uh, for this kind of uh, uh, encouragement to listen to me and i was i was really so happy uh, talking to you i that i could not realize when uh, two and a half hours passed away and i was especially happy to see my friends like uh, mr malik tani uh, mr ganveer uh, there are also other names uh, that meanwhile appeared mr mandlik etc so yes it was great pleasure Uh, communicating with you all, uh, particularly in the presence of my old friends, close friends. So yes, I really uh, should say I am uh, so much thankful to each one of you for this kind of re- response. And then I have also got so nice comments from uh, uh, Mr. Amol Zado, Mr. Dhaneda, Mr. and Ms. Wagmare. others so i am also uh, so much grateful to them for such nice compliments and as i said to you we have uh, no specific intention uh, behind uh, launching this uh, say talk series it is but you know to discuss the things of research and language that could be helpful in uh, you know adding to awareness of uh, those uh, you know that uh, really require that so yes i would like to say it was a great pleasure and privilege as well to be with you thank you very much thank you very much sir okay. and now i would like to invite uh, just a uh, second mr batane do you have a question i would like to invite him actually okay to make a comment Okay. Our lecture. Okay, okay. So I would like to invite Mr. Ah, gre- Malik Batan to make comment on okay, our lecture. Okay. Ah, uh, good evening, Pandit sir. Good evening, so thank nice you to you see very you much. here. Thank you very much. Ah, thank you, thank you very much for this uh, brilliant piece of presentation on uh, technical aspects of the dissertation or thesis. uh it is really difficult for me a person who is struggling to complete his uh, research work and uh, now i am <clears throat> talking about your lecture regarding important technical aspects a very um, a micro thing do's and don'ts 
completing uh, 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 our review. What I learned so you are present you she is uh, uh, but we cannot complete research draft. We have to sit or we have to complete first draft, second draft, and then uh, it would be possible to finalize our work research things. About how reference synthesis. Uh, also, uh, uh, the ethics, research ethics. How to and the important thing is objectivity that you talked about. Uh, uh, objective point of view and the use of passive voice. Uh, Also, not uh, 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 that you talk to talk uh, text reference play hands um, manual styling things. Uh, thank for me to uh, uh, of the Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, um, this I, Dr. Ms. Lecture on. Voice is breaking, sir. Some internet connectivity issue is there. Maybe the internet is low. Hmm. Ah, yes. Go on. Then it's unmute yourself. Maybe the antenna is low. Mr. Jamal, you go on. I think we have to conclude this uh, session of today.